Ian here for OG Fitness. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And on this channel, we're all about a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys, okay? Who, and when I say older guys, I mean guys who tend to be uh, 25, 30, and above, and who have a family, have a full-time job, but still love uh, martial arts and fitness, okay? So, in this video, I wanna talk to you guys about three things that are probably fucking up your back, okay? So the first thing is uh, ta -ta -ta -ta, excessive shear force. So, what is shearing force? It's basically when you have two forces that are going in opposite directions. Okay, so in the, in, in the case of your spine here, you have your two vertebrae, well you have a lot of vertebrae, but let's say yeah, you were just looking at two vertebrae, and then you had the disc in between. So shearing force would be this. Okay, a perfect example of this happening is when you're doing kettlebell swings. So kettlebell swings are a bad idea because there's a lot of shearing force happening. You know, you're swinging a fucking big ass kettlebell, a heavy weight, okay, in front of you, and your, your spine is going up like this. So, you might not feel it right away, but over time, you'll have back problems. And I know a lot of people say, oh no, well you gotta brace, and you, gotta, you have to do it properly, blah, 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 blah. But it's not worth the risk. There's other things you can do, okay, to... Um, to, to, to strengthen your back, your legs. I mean, there's so many exercises. So why do this when the risk of, of fucking up your spine is so high? So shearing force. The second thing is compression. If you compress your spine, you're fucking it up. So how does compression work? Well, once again, you have your vertebrae, you have the other vertebrae. In between, you have your disc. Now you're crushing it. You're crushing it with the weight that you're putting on. Uh, for example, when you're doing a squat, you're putting the bar behind your neck on your shoulders and you're squatting down. So that, a squat, you're compressing your spine directly. So that's a bad idea too because if you, with time, you're going to have problems. And once again, there's, there's other ways you can, you can do the, the, the squat, you know? You can put the weight in front. That's the better alternative in my opinion and it translates better because you're, you're not compressing your spine and you're working all your, your, all the muscles in your back and all your, your core too, you're stabilizing, you know, and then you're, uh, you're, you're working out your legs. So, I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's a better exercise, okay? And the third thing is what we call unsupported lumbar flexion. So, how your lumbar is your lower back so when, you, when I say unsupported lumbar flexion, it means that you're, it really has to do with posture, okay, and alignment. So you know how we all say, you always hear you have to keep your back straight when you're, when you're, when you're uh, bending over to pick up something and you got to hinge at the hip? Well, that's exactly that because your lumbar spine, okay, it's not made to, um, uh, to, to flex that much and when you when you when you hinge okay when you when you bend over to pick something uh you have to keep that part straight okay your spine straight and you have to support it how do you support it you have to brace you have to there has to be a contraction um it, you know at, at the core and that's how you that's how you protect your your lumbar okay and of course not putting it in a, a fucked up position where you're, you're you're flexing it too much so an example of flexing flexing it too much would be when guys practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and they're on their backs and their legs are there, right? And someone's on top of them and they're trying to pass their guard but they're putting a lot of pressure on the legs and they're grabbing the top of their, their body, their gi and they're, they're pulling on it so they're, they're folding the guy in half, okay? So that's a, like in that position, you're, there's, a, there's, there's all three of them. <laughs> so there's sheer force, there's compression, and there's unsupported um, lumbar flexion. So those are the three things, guys. Like if you guys have back problems, you should really rethink. You should you should think of um, of these three things and and see how you can can fix it. So the first one is easy. Shearing force. I mean, if you're doing kettlebell swings, really like. 
I don't think you should. You, you should probably uh, not do them and find something else to do, okay? You, that's one thing. And then if you're doing uh, the squatting, you're compressing your spine, don't do the back squat. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up your spine, okay? And the third thing is uh, unsupported lumbar uh, flexion. So, you know, posture is really important here, okay? So you have to brace and you have to hinge and you have to keep your, your, uh, your spine straight when you're doing things. And uh, also, hmm, that's it. So try to be careful with your back because I think it's, it's, it's really important for longevity. And I mean, your spine, if you fuck up your spine, you're basically screwed. You can't walk right, you can't, you can't move right. You know, it's the most important part of your, uh, of your, of your body next to your, uh, right after your brain, right? Because if you, you don't, your brain is no good, then you can't do nothing. But the spine is really, really important. If you mess it up, it's, uh, it's a really bad, bad time. So I hope this video helps. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.